the back stoop. I remember that very clearly. Didn't know he played guitar back then. I thought he played guitar later in life. There's the farmhouse in Maplewood, East Maplewood. I was born November 7th in East of Maplewood and South of Sturgeon Bay. My mother was Bertha and William. They owned a farm of 80 acres in Dark County. You know, they paid 3000 for the property. He passed away to settle his estate. They had to borrow. This is my grandma and grandpa Kostichka. William and Bertha. Not sure what this overblown white picture is. It's the house, but here's the farm. Here's the here's the uh, the barn. And snow piled up in the driveway. You can't get close anywhere to the barn. This is my dad's grade school K through eight. Yes, went to Maplewood East Maplewood grade school through eight years, then to Sturgeon Bay High School. So this is K through eight if you go south of um south and east of Maplewood. This is Sturgeon Bay High School as it was back then. My dad is standing in front of a car playing guitar. So I really didn't know that he played guitar back then. Thrashing time was my favorite time of year. I got to drive the tractor, cutting the oats, then for loading the wagons. And then this is his tractor that uh, we had it in cribbits for a long time. He used it for wood cutting in cribbits. My mom and dad, they had their wedding. Don't know. Don't know. Military outfit, not sure where he's at. Military friends, not sure who they are. He used to tell the stories about them. He knew them. I forgot who they are. And um, these three guys, my dad is on the right, and the two, I think it's Ronnie Zarin, and I'm not sure who the third one is. They, they uh, had sunflowers as a cash crop one year. So this is a picture of the house, the farmhouse with sunflowers. And this is the church in Maplewood. This is uh, very close to their house. This is the trees that they planted on the 40 acres on uh, Maple Road and County H. They call it the Grand granddaughter's trees a map that I can't see but I see at least Rockford here's uh, um, his Velspar Corporation truck it was called Rockwell paints back then. It's hard to see. There's Randy sitting in a high chair. Velspar truck. So he worked for Velspar for 20 years driving truck from Green Bay to uh, Green Bay, from uh, Rockford to Chicago. This was the house on Sierra Drive. At first we started out with no, the driveway was gravel. This was the 1964 Bonneville that was uh, our first car. 
ended up selling this to a guy in Cribbits. And here's a, I don't know, Sears, someplace like that, for a photo. Some event, don't remember which one. Maybe First Communion. Deer hunting was a big deal for Dad. This was bow hunting, and he got his buck, so they took a picture. And Frank is on the right, Curly's in the back center, not sure who the fourth person is. Let me know. Oh, I got into the pictures. Curly on the bottom, Frank on the right. My dad is holding on to me. This is Andy, Andy Blaha, and Dave Utes over on the right. With Dave, we met in Rockford. Andy on the right, and my mom. Um, Jane Rylett, in dark shirt, and... Uh, this was the 25th wedding anniversary, I think. In a blue shirt, that's Jerome Kostichka, my dad's cousin. Paul Fry in the front right. Pat is kind of cut off on the left. John Seiler in the shirt on the right with his with the squares. Joanne Seiler and Doug Feaster, my uncle Doug. Uh, Ron and Darlene O'Dell. This is one of my dad's projects to rearrange their house after a party. Paul Fry on the right, in the pink. I think that's Bobby Fry. And then my dad. So Bellspire Corporation had these colorful trailers on the truck. So this is a model truck. This is Grandpa Feaster. They call them Pa. So this is on my mom's side. So my mom's dad. In the wheelchair in, in the front center is, is Royce. She was in Cribbett's Middle Inlet area. Uh, we used to get together for jam sessions in the basement of the house in Rockford. Um, the guy on the right is with the glasses is, is Dave McClellan. No, Roger Huffman. Roger is the guy with the guitar is Roger Huffman. The guy with the mustache on, on the right is Dave McClellan. He was kind of like a Dobro guy. Um, front left center with stripes is Fermanek, so the neighbors at the Fry House. And this is Dave Utes. And we were motor we had a motorcycle group. Jane Rylett on the left with my dad. Jane was a neighbor in Rockford. Fry House with uh, Mum Raiders. I don't remember who the, oh, who the person is in squares. Not sure. Um, Kathy, oh, Kathy Fry, and that's our house in the background. And they lived across the street from our house. Pa Feaster, my my grandfather, um, Doug Feaster, and my mom. And for some reason, my dad didn't want to get his picture taken. And this is them sitting outside of the house. Um, yeah, South of Sturgeon Bay. We had that uh, storage shed built in the backyard. I remember doing that in, in Rockford. 
This is the Fry family on the right, Christy, Kathy, and Paul. Not sure where this is it, unknown. So Curly, Jerome Kostichka used to do a lot of um, fishing coordination out of Elgoma. Dave Utes again on motorcycles with Pat Fry and others. Okay, so really whited it out, but it looks like we're moving to crivets here. Dan Schneider. So Dan passed away a few years ago. He was the coordinator of our musical group, Rocky Top. And then Scott was a banjo player from Crooked Lake. And I was playing violin at that time with my dad. Another picture of the same crew. And John was from Racine, Wisconsin. And poker on the right was a, was a a game that they had. They put it on a table. And there's Ken O'Dell and my dad. And they're in the cabin. And Ken again with the dog. I don't know if it was Princess at this time, but I think they had two dogs called Princess. But anyway, this one was uh, one of my dad's, and there I am. Not sure who I'm talking to, but that's me. And they had this uh, trailer and truck. This is uh, what they took to Arizona the last few years. And... Uh, Okay, who do we got here? Catholic Finan Catholic Knights, it was called then. So this is a dinner table for that. So my dad hit a train. With, he was driving a truck for Gretz Manufacturing, and they hit a train, and this is the, the way the truck looked after that. Um, Crivet's Friends. I forgot their names. I'm sorry. And sitting around the bonfire, I see Jerome, I see um, Lisse over on the right in the brown shirt, teaching Elizabeth how to shoot a bow and arrow. Used to have the Subaru car and a little brown truck, and it was uh, this was Princess. And Elizabeth and my dad sitting on a four-wheeler. And if you wanted to go hunting, he had the best hunting spots. It's this one, this place was really warm. You could sit in there, and they had a gas fire, and you didn't have to dress up. Gary Holtzbauer was from uh, Thunder Lake um, Hatchery, so fish hatchery over on uh, Keldon Falls Road. And Elizabeth and Patty were up for that. And here's some snow uh, with one of the trucks, pickup trucks that we had. And we visited Cribbits, and Dad was into making Fox, so he had all these cutouts with the bandsaw. Freddie was our, he, my dad found these uh, raccoons on the side of the street, and he brought them home, and Freddie was a friend. He stuck around for a couple of years, and then he kind of went off, but uh, he was very domesticated, and if you want to have a a raccoon that was that was a cool idea. So Jackie and Giovanna uh, with Grandma and Grandpa. Looks like a dance competition. Mark Stillings, one of the neighbors up in the Crivets area in my graduation. And dear grandpa. So the, the girls had written grandpa a letter and took a picture. And another picture.
Joyce Little John, Red Little John, my mom, my dad, Judy was a daughter, and then I'm on the lower right. And here's the campers, probably Odell's are in the mix. I'm not sure who the three campers are, but uh, that's at the house. My dad had a motorcycle trailer, so his motorcycle in the front and a trailer behind. And the dog. He had the dog mostly after I left the house. Um, so I, I really wasn't... He had a lot of pictures of the dog, but I wasn't really that, that close to the dog. And I know that he could eat like one little piece and, and he would... That was a joke of ours is to um, eat like princess, like one and it's gone. So that's a puma, uh, Articat puma, puma. I'm um, sitting in front of the house and my dad on it, m myself on it. Here he got it stuck. At the, there was too much snow for even for snowmobiles. So, and it had such a l short little track that it, it got stuck quickly. So, but we had a lot of snow that winter. <laughs> oh, Fred and my dad dressed up as a lady for Halloween. And this is probably a Remix. Um, my dad dressed up as each other at Remix. So this is in Crooked Lake. And there's Patty and Roy on the right. My grandma, uh, Frank on the left. Not my mom. Elizabeth is kind of cut off on the left, but now we got a different view of the. Roy on the right, Roy Hansen, and Frank on the left, Frank Kostuchka. And uh, forgot the name already. It, it, from Crooked Lake. And Santa Claus with Elizabeth. Dave Utes on the left, Frank on the right, and my mom and dad in the middle. This was in the cabin. I don't know, seventies. Dave Utes on the top with the hat. Um Fern Bossman on the left with her husband on the top. And then uh my mom and dad and I and a stu studio picture probably at Sears in Rockford. Ted Verhag and his wife Roxy, they ended up building a house over on Thunder River near us. Uh, not sure what the shirt says. Burn shirt from Paul Fry. Yeah, Paul and my dad were kind of nuts, crazy guys. Another Halloween picture, Abe Winkle. I think that's his last name. And my dad dressed with a sport jacket. Andy Blaha and his wife. Um, hmm, forget her name. She's in Coleman. She's a hairdresser. So you can see me in the back playing music. This is the 25th wedding anniversary for their 25th. And Rocky Top was the band. All right, beating him some cake for the picture. Another picture for the 25th. Grandma and Grandpa Kosichka, so my dad's parents. Oh, mm, Helen. She lived next door to us in, in Rockford. 
She bought a cottage up in Krivitz by Pops Resort. Helen Jers. Um, her husband passed away by this time. But uh, they had a cottage over by Pops Resort. Grandma and Grandpa, Helen, Fern Bossman in the back, Darlene Kostichka on the left. Looks like Ronnie Kostichka on the right, lower right. Um, this was at the top op, so it's, it's now called Sweetwater, and it's probably closed by now. And Scott Rudolph, my dad, and I, we were doing some kind of song, don't remember, but Scott joined in for the for the evening on banjo. Mel, Stitchka, Melvin, my, and Doug. So my mom's brothers. Very few pictures of Melvin around. Oh, and this looks like the Fry family. Kathy, Christy, and Bobby. And the deer out in the backyard. And there's Pat. Fry with uh, my mom and dad and I. Mm, Frank Kosichka on the left. Um, not sure if other people looks like the fries. Dancing at a party. I'm not sure where the party was. Might have been in Rockford. Uh, my grandma and grandpa, William and Bertha Kostichka. Okay, definitely Stegman's, John Stegman on the right. Not sure who the people are with the brown jacket. Patty and Roy with the two with uh, Alex and Brandon. Uh, now we're going back to the wedding. Elizabeth's mom, Liz Maria, Patty, my dad, Vern, and Carol. And now we got on the left is is uh, Fran and then Susie and Elizabeth's mom, Luz Maria. And over on the right is Fran's dad, um, then Elizabeth and Randy, and my grandma on the left, and that must be Giovanna, in a, when she was just born at the baptism. This is our house on Syringa in Green Bay. Kind of a dark picture, but kind of gives you a flavor of what was going on. And it must be a dance competition for Jackie. And another dance competition. Devana's on top. Jackie's on the, uh, sitting down. Okay, it looks like we're back on Sorenka. Do you want to take another picture? And another one. Elizabeth's got her hat on. There must be some kind of celebration going on. Not sure. Roy and Patty on the right. Here's my dad and grandma and my mom with Giovanna and Jackie. And then again, grandpa with the four wheeler. He, we still have the four wheeler right now. That same machine. Uh, this was in Mexico, so we hired this driver guy on the on that's on the left, and then we were. This is in Michoacan, and then what do we got here? Grandpa's Santa and Santa's grandpa, and Giovanna. All the luggage that Elizabeth needs needs to carry. This is probably all hers. And we're in Mexico City at Elizabeth's mom's house. This is uh, Morelia at a hotel in Morelia. I remember this is the when Fox was a, uh, elected president. 
So Vincente Fox. So Doug, my mom and her brother Doug, and my dad. And mom, dad, and Jackie. Dave Utes, Claudine Utes, and dad. Uh, not sure who the boys are. This is in the cabin. It's definitely in the cabin. Uh, this is the outhouse outside the cabin, between the cabin and the house. It's a critical part. Needed it. Couldn't live without it. Um, who do we got here? Darlene Odell on the right. And I think it's some Odells in the middle. I'm not sure. And this was from some of their trips that they took. And Daddy got put in jail. I think this was in Arizona. More travel pictures from when they were traveling around the country. Luke and Buck, Texas. At this point, he had really lost it. He used to be, I don't know, 250 pounds at this point. It was like 180. Pumpkins, he was big into planting pumpkins over on the ranch with um, the snow in front of the house. Behind the cabin, a couple of snowmobiles in front of the cabin. The cabin again, at this point, the the, the uh, garage was built on, so they parked the car down in the garage. Myself and the girls and my mom and dad. Dad showing off his uh, garage. Oh, there are travel pictures. Hmm. Saint Philip. No idea. Again, out west, not sure where. Looks like Alaska, dog sleds. Hold on to a bird. Yeah, seaward Alaska. They had a great time on this trip. They met some of the Kostichka family. I talked about the trip for a long time. It was one of the highlights. So would love to go to Alaska. Not sure. I'm assuming this is more Alaska. So when I put this slideshow together, it was for my dad's funerals. My mom helped select some of the photos. And this is probably Nevada. Sorry, not sure who these folks are. Probably relatives. Sitting on a chair somewhere. Yeah. yeah, I know it was important to my dad. My mom picked out these pictures, so that's why they're included. I'm not sure who they are. So we got Canon Canon Paul on the right 
and Paul Fry and, and his wife on the left. My dad's truck, this is what I went to pick him up on. He passed away in Arizona. This is what he was driving when he passed away. And my mom, Paul and Pat, that I was looking for Pat. I'm sorry about that, Pat. Um, back to Mexico, Dad and Jackie and Giovanna. Not sure why they took a picture of the outhouse, but they did. This is their neighbors from Cribbit, Alan Rena. Not sure where, but it looks like Arizona. Darlene is with in Arizona. Back to Mexico, Jackie and Giovanna are posing while the guy is actually fixing our luggage on the top of the car. And this is this is Arkansas. This is Joyce Little John and my dad in Arkansas. Not sure where this is. It might it be in Shatek by Dave Utes. Yeah. So this is my dad's teaching me how to fish in Shatek. And here's another. We we always went there on Memorial Weekend and it always rained. And on the right is a boathouse. We would get out, get the boat out from there. Dave had a boat. And father, son fishing off the dock. Jackie and Giovanna with Grandpa. Grandma and Grandpa, Jackie Giovanna, not sure who sentenced and uh, his wife are. No idea. Okay, Dad's looking at something, not sure what it is. Jerome Kostichka. So J Jerome had a uh, had a chartering company out of Algoma. So he was Captain Curly. This is Mexico. And Randy and Elizabeth wedding picture. Patty and Liz Maria and my mom and dad. Gilbert Wheeler, he lived in Rockford. This was when he visited them in in Missouri. No, Arkansas. Missouri? Missouri. Sykeston, Missouri. And his dad, I forgot his name. But this was a hot day in Missouri. I remember it being very hot. Mm, John, John was from Racine. He would come up hunting, and he got to be friends with the family from the hunting experience. Krivitz friends, Paula and. Paula, Paula, and Ken and Paula, along with Krivitz friends, Fern Bossman on the left, Ken Odell, another picture of the truck that my dad crashed. He had a train and walked away from it. It was pretty impressive. Grandma and Grandpa at their 50th wedding anniversary. This was in um, Sturgeon Bay. Frank on the top right, Elizabeth on the left, Gra Grandma Gustichka, so Bertha. And here we got it. Not sure where my mom and dad were, but they had a polar bear behind them. Graceland. Okay, so Memphis.
Jackie and Giovanna and Grandma. Not sure where. Somewhere in Mexico. Grandpa would... Jackie. Looks like the, our house on, uh, on Country Club Road. Uh, from the brown wood in the back, you can tell. Joyce Little John in purple, next to my mom. My dad and so Joyce Little John must have been in 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 Missouri at the Ozarks. What's what's the name of the country place? Um, Jerome Kostichka and my dad um, showing off the bucks that they got. And apparently my mom got a buck. Didn't know about that. This was uh, Andy Blaha had some land south of um, on Parkway, south of W. And um, my dad put, built some uh, pretty elaborate hunting stands. You could sit up there with uh, t-shirts on hunting in November. It was so warm. And there's the girls showing off some clothes that they got. Another dance picture. Jackie sliding down a hill in some snow. Mexico, they come around and take your picture and put the put the hat on you and take a picture. I think this is a repeat with the uh, the Sears photo. All right, that's it.